it's a crazy thing that I decided to do five years ago to get people to pay attention so that I didn't feel like a ghost. So I didn't feel like I was alone. And five years later, thinking of the thousands and thousands and thousands of people who have walked with us, it's an out-of-body experience for me because I didn't think anybody would follow. I thought I was by myself. And to normalize and to create a movement that people are paying attention to, to help advocate for the passage of laws that protect so many children, there's really nothing that you can say or do. 12 or 13 years ago when we first got here on this issue, nobody wanted to talk about sexual assault, let alone childhood sexual abuse. Nobody wanted to say anything about it. Um, we've raised awareness, we've put a face on it. Um, Lauren's become a voice of, of the voiceless. She's become a voice of those that continue to live in darkness and she tries to open a light for them. Well, you can see that one person can make a difference. Not only is Lauren making a big difference, and Ron's making a big difference, but each of you are making a big difference. Every child's story is different and it's always very emotional to hear what a child has gone through and to see how strong they are is just amazing. We're trying to turn something negative into a positive. That's, that's why we're here and to help other people and to just continue to heal and spread the message because so many people are afraid to talk about this subject it needs to be talked about because it affects everybody. I think back to a t-shirt that a grandmother wrote and it said, because my husband was a monster for my four grandchildren and daughter who were abused by that monster and for him being in prison for the rest of his life. And you think about the totality of that little white block on the back of a t-shirt and the destruction that that was, but also the hope that they're here that they're using their voice. That's what this is all about. The strength, the empowerment that comes with that little white block of telling us why you're doing what you do. When people walk up to us on the street or pull their car alongside of us and they tell us stories and they allow us to lead them to a sexual assault treatment center or a child advocacy center to get services and care, it allows us to come back here to this town and, and tell lawmakers lawmakers from 67 counties, lawmakers from, from 600, 700 cities around the state of Florida about, about the needs in their own communities because we've, we've listened to people along the way.